I, I, I'm watching doves and they're just having a great time. I hit the pause button so I can make a video and as soon as the music stops, it scares all of them off. Cause like, I guess any difference in environment, like an extreme difference in their environment, whether it's sight or hear, hear uh, uh, you know, video or audio, visual, whatever, they get scared, man. Doves are like skittish as can be. I started the clip because I want to show you something that I really like. I'm not a sponsor. They're not a sponsor. <laughs> I guess I'm a sponsor. I'm gonna just give them a shout out to Cara Plum. This is my wine. I like this wine. My mother's. This is my mother's favorite wine, and I would have never known about it if, if it wasn't for her. But I'm really not a wine drinker. I like wine coolers. <laughs> I like Zimas and you know that stupid stuff. But this is a a true uh, Japanese wine. It's good stuff. The Cara Plum. Uh, Y'all seen me drink it before. I've had this before. <laughs> Obviously, I've had it before. Look great, but about this much left. Mmm. Wow. So I went in, I was gonna cook, get uh, dinner ready, but mama's not ready for dinner, so uh, she sent me back outside. Go back outside and listen to more music. <laughs> she ain't ready to eat, so I got a little bit more time before I have to fix her meal. I'll eat with her when it comes time. When it comes time to eat, I'll, we'll have a meal together, but mm, that's good. Uh, that's lovely. That's awesome. Mmm, that is very, that's like very refreshing. The plum wine. Takara. T-A-K-A-R-A. Takara. Takara. Takara plum. Put your beat behind that. Make a commercial. This is royalty free music. Right here straight to you from me. Red that's going wild. All right, Takara plum, whoever makes it, y'all can have that. Put it in a little old song and sell it in Japan like that and put my commercial all over the place. Just send me some cases of wine. That's all I need. Mm. Oh, that's good. I cooked with it. That that um, beef jerky I made had the car plum. The London broil we're going to have for dinner tonight that I smoked for about four hours yesterday. Marinated in the car plum. So enough. And I, myself, am marinated <laughs> in Canadian mist. <laughs> yes, sir. You knew that was coming, don't you? Don't put your cup down next to the computer. You'll be sorry. Nah, I ain't just kidding. I'm just spinning around. Anyhow, folks, I wanted to show you the ending result of the London broil. What I cooked it yesterday, throw it in the damn kitchen, uh, throw it in the refrigerator till today, and this is what we got. A little bit of London broil. This is like leftovers. <laughs> Big old chunk of friggin' meat. Um, gonna have some slices of London broil, of course. Microwaved it. After I cooked it, it was red. Look here. Look how red it is. Once I cooked it, it's, it's red. Microwave it for about a minute minute and a half at the most makes it perfect All right I throw my onions that I smoked with the meat in with a uh, can of peas and heat it up in a saucer and that's what I got here my smoked onions my smoked sweet onions with peas and I'm gonna have some scallop potatoes I'm gonna throw it in there and I'm gonna chow down oh folks I got I got everything done here we go this is my finished product this is gonna be in my belly here in about within 10 maybe 15 minutes I'll be done with this that's gonna be a good meal so thanks oh man and one man I was just sitting here talking with my mama we were talking about <laughs> how dirty my feet were <laughs> she said this I, I actually started the conversation I said something stuck to my my foot and she said yeah your feet are filthy and I said blah 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 we went on and on about it and then yeah actually we figured out I stepped on something but we don't know what it is We'll figure out what it is later. But the conversation kind of went like this. Uh, there's something flying my, in here. There's, oh, now she thinks there's something flying around her. There is. I hope it's not a mosquito. Well, it probably is. We're in Florida. Um, anyhow, we were talking about... <laughs> uh, what did I say? How, how did it go? I can't remember. I forgot now. But it was funny, wasn't it? Uh 
Huh? Um, my feet are as dirty. I mean, we were talking about how my feet, like, you know, I don't know. I don't think they're that dirty. They are dirty. You need to wash them. I think I sat down for a minute and I started eating chocolate. And I, I it was kind of like silence for a few seconds or maybe a minute or so. And then I looked over and I said, my name is Daryl. <laughs> Could you imagine if Bigfoot, you know, his new name is Daryl. I mean, just that's what we were talking about. Yeah. The, the the commercial, y'all seen it, his name, Bigfoot's name is actually Daryl. He's come out from the bushes and told everybody his name. Now, and that's kind of a great name for him. And uh, we were thinking... I don't know anybody in my life. I ain't got no, I don't have a Daryl. I don't know anybody named Daryl. I asked mom, did you know you got a Daryl? No, but there used to be a TV show that had huh. three brothers and they were all named Daryl. I didn't know. <laughs> Never seen it, but for real, no. I mean, in your closeness no. to your friends and your family, do you have a Daryl? No. I don't know anybody that has a Daryl. Do you have a Daryl? And is his feet clean? Right? That was the whole thing. That was the whole, it was all about the whole damn thing about my feet not being clean. Man, I can't, I'm a, I'm a redneck, man. I'm a redneck that makes a living by walking around the house doing gardening and other great stuff that improves my life. And I don't really have to have shoes half the time or a shirt. So I live in Florida and I am a redneck. My name's Daryl. <laughs>